set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray. Unveil why we're made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope. Like wildfire in our very souls, Holy Spirit, come invade us now. We are your church. We need your power on earth. Build for kingdom here. Let the dark. When most of us think of a church, we think of a building. But this song says something else, doesn't it? This song says, we are your church. But what exactly does that mean? When I think about the life that Jesus led, I hardly ever think about where Jesus went to church. It actually kind of sounds funny, doesn't it? Instead, Jesus is most known for his acts of kindness and redemptive power. He is known for the hope he brought to the people through his actions. Now don't get me wrong, as the church, it's our call to be in union with one another. And that means gathering on Sundays for church, being in youth groups, studying your Bible, of course, being in confirmation. But why? The hope we find in the life of Jesus as we read through the scriptures and learn more about him helps us bring about his kingdom here on earth. What does that look like? I think this song, Build Your Kingdom, that I just sang, says a lot. But as Methodists, we also take vows that express the very same thing, just in a slightly different way. And we'll talk about them in weeks to come. For now, remember that our call as followers of Christ is not just to go to church, it's also to be here. How have you witnessed your church community being the church? How have you been a part of your church? You can let me know in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday.